Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on in to a LEGO Marvel Super Heroes video. Today I want to sit down and I want to talk about something that I recently realized and was kind of very disappointed in LEGO by, but also Marvel. And I don't really know who's to blame exactly for this, but it's pretty crazy now looking back and two years later almost at the Avengers Endgame sets. And I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, what on earth happened to them it is quite crazy while a lot of the sets themselves in terms of the vehicles and locations i mean the one location is actually quite accurate which at the time we were thinking wasn't the sets were kind of all made up by lego and the outfits were probably the most disappointing part of those sets we can i think I, I, maybe I'm speaking for myself, but I think that we can overlook weird and wacky vehicles, but as long as we're getting accurate figures, I think is the bottom line. But with Endgame, they were just plain boring and repetitive, and even when it came to another wave of, I want to say sets, but it was really just a single set, what happened? So I figured we would just sit down and talk about this, because I actually recently thought about this when I saw this amazing video which I highly recommend checking out. I will link it here in the description. It is titled How Marvel Actually Makes Movies Years Before Filming and they went in and they actually talked about and showed pre stuff for Avengers Endgame that was done in 2016. Three years before the movie came out. So Marvel has all of their movies TV shows, they're all using the same technology and planning it all out to the point where some directors won't even sign up to projects because they feel like the job is already done for them in terms of camera angles and all that stuff. All they're there is really to help the actors with their performances. So my mind was just completely blown because I'm thinking out there, they've already got like phase four completely filmed and ready to go in terms of like there's rough cuts of them out there which means that we have zero excuses for lego sets being inaccurate and with the biggest movie of all time it's quite inexcusable to really be looking at that and thinking why did we get the quantum realm suits for every single person i think that it is absolutely insane looking back at that so even if you're thinking, well, maybe they didn't have access to it, or maybe Marvel was keeping a tight lid on the concepts, there is a ton of other companies. Funko, Hasbro, all of them all in their cool superhero outfits, not the Quantum Realm ones. And don't get me wrong, I think that a Quantum Realm suit, maybe in a couple of sets sprinkled throughout, look really good. Like, I actually do like them. But the fact that we got an inaccurate Hulk in one of them. We did get an exclusive Iron Man, which is cool, I guess, but even Captain Marvel was reused, and those are really the only characters outside of the Quantum Realm suits. So what happened with this? Well, even looking at the box arts themselves, they literally have the concept art and the promotional stills, the first outfits, and really the first picture that we saw for that movie that you could see on screen now, those suits are all on the side of the box and it just is so baffling to me that they have those suits on the side but then the figures inside the sets are all in the quantum realm suits and it just it really makes me question like how did this happen when looking at you know other toy companies having this now and then specifically looking at the side of the box where they clearly had pictures at some point for these accurate outfits and then to top it all off these movies are being finished three years before pretty well like the the core outfits and looks for them all i think it's crazy i don't know about you but i'm just kind of baffled but to me i guess you could maybe excuse that all because you know maybe marvel was like we don't trust you lego like you put giant man in a set but even that it's like someone greenlit that at marvel like whenever lego is doing a product for star wars or batman or whatever they're always interacting with the company so someone at marvel let's say that i know that a lot of people say that maybe they're not telling lego as much because that they're afraid they're going to spoil stuff someone at marvel greenlit the airport battle set 
to have giant man in that at the end of the day that's not lego's fault that was marvel's they asked marvel can we do this they said yes so it's not on lego for spoiling that now when it comes to the eternals thing that's a whole other topic of discussion about lego spoiling that since we haven't even gotten a trailer for that i don't know how that happened but specifically i do want to talk about this last thing which to me is just the ultimate like slap in the face i think when it comes to the sets that we got for endgame the hulk helicopter rescue set that came out months after the movie and the original sets we only got rescue and hulk in a quantum realm suit so not only now do we have the inaccurate hulk from the avengers compound set we now have him in a quantum realm suit which doesn't make sense because he's got the stark gauntlet and then you've also got Black Widow there, also in a Quantum Realm suit. Months after the movie, why didn't we get their Endgame outfits? It's just, I don't understand. Why did they say, you know what, yeah, you can you can have something like the Stark Gauntlet in here, a big part of the movie. But, oh, no, 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 no. You, you can't have Hulk in his Professor Hulk gray outfit. No, no. You want to recreate that iconic scene in that set? No, you're not allowed to do that. I think that's crazy to me. I, I mean, I'm guessing that's how some, like, I'm hoping that someone at LEGO was fighting to have that in there. I, I know that, like, this stuff is planned out for LEGO a year in advance, and they are sent concept art, and I think they've seen early footage of the movies as well in some cases. So it's just kind of baffling to me how this happened. And while I do like some of the Avengers Endgame sets, like, I think that's the best Quinja we've ever gotten. Are the figures in the set good? No, because they're all in Quantum Realm suits. I love the Iron Man Hall of Armor, and I love the fact that we got the expansion last year. And the compound, it, it's its a good playset, I think, but it's just looking at them all as a whole, they're not accurate. And I, I can't help but not be jealous when I see other toy companies with accurate outfits at the launch of the movie they were on cups they were on other merchandise like it wasn't a secret we saw their outfits we saw all of their outfits before even seeing the movie and i do potentially want to do a video talking about this but if that marvel cmf series is actually mcu based i really hope that there are some outfits from endgame in that thing because i think that we were really robbed of some really cool outfits there and i hope that that is fixed in the future but we'll have to wait and see. I Again, I just think that it's crazy. Check out that video. I found that insane to me. And I want to say as well, like, where is the upgraded black and red Spider-Man Far From Home suit wasn't in any of those sets. Now, I don't know if the Sony films are filmed the same way or if it's just the Disney ones that follows this procedure. But I still think that it's crazy. And even looking at the Disney Plus stuff, it's like... You have access to all of this stuff early. It's out there. It's been planned out. Why are we not getting a WandaVision set or a Falcon and the Winter Soldier one? It's just, to me, I, I think that it's such a missed opportunity if LEGO ever skips out on a property with Marvel. Or really, it's down to Marvel not giving LEGO the keys to do that stuff. So... Anyways, everyone, we may never know the answer to that, but I just figured that I would let you all know and keep this in the back of your mind whenever we get pictures for upcoming Marvel movie sets and just think and look back at, well, where's this in a set? But anyways, everyone, I hope you did enjoy this and maybe learn something about Lego and Marvel. And if you are interested, I actually have an Avengers Endgame CMF where you could check out my version of all the suits that we never got in Lego form. But anyways, I will see you all in the next one.